What's up guys, Super Geek Pod here, back here again for my first video after my WrestleMania 32 trip. Uh, second time trying to make this video, I ran out of storage, had to delete all my videos. Uh, but yeah, whatever. Uh, gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta get those videos out. Uh, so this is Merch Mania. Uh, this is the video that all of us hate making just because it symbolizes the end of the trip. Everything's done, all the festivities are over. But you know what? I I have an amazing time in Dallas. Uh, hopefully, I get to go in Orlando. I am really eyeing up that silver travel package. So, yeah. Hopefully, that works out. It should. I'm about to get a job. So, just... Especially when... Like, get a job, work weekends, and I'm just going to work my ass off over the summer. Uh, it's going to happen. SKP33 is going to happen. Mark my words. So, yeah. Let's get this show on the road. This video took a lot longer than I hoped the first time around. Uh... But yeah, let's just start off with the things that I bought. I'll start with this. This was originally supposed to be signed, uh, but just didn't have the chance to meet him. This is an edit I made of Matt Seidel. Uh, the reason I got this printed was because he actually made it his profile picture and kept it like that for about three months. No, no, not even three, more than that, about six months actually. So yeah, uh, I just didn't have the chance to meet him. I was meeting Pentagon Jr. and my dad called me and I sent him the voicemail because I needed the, my camera to take a picture with him. And after I met him, I called him back, and he said, yeah, Matt Seidel just walked past me. He was in a hurry. He left. And I was kind of upset just because I really wanted to meet him. He was probably one of my top three people to meet this year. But uh, whatever. I'll, I'm sure I'll have a chance to meet him eventually. Just going to get that framed for now. But, yeah, next up, got a figure that was supposed to be signed by Day of Tommy. Didn't get to meet him. He didn't sign Sunday Access like he was advertised for. But, oh, well. Uh... I'm going to be going to, since I'm going to WrestleMania 33, uh, two sessions of access are included in the package. So I'll, I'm, I'm sure we'll sign in one of the sessions. So yeah, got that. Next up, two DVDs. First up, All-Star Weekend 11. Um, went out of order for my PWG DVDs. I need uh, Lemmy uh, and All-Star Weekend 11. But those are the ones that are out right now. So I have night one. Um, I was going to get all three of them, but I just didn't know how much money I was going to have left. I didn't know how much I was going to spend at the Superstore the next day. So I just went safe and bought one. Just got this. I liked Ricard. Uh, Lee against Osprey. Bailey against Omega. Strong against Seidel. So yeah, that's that. Next up, we got uh, Ring of Honor DVD. AJ Silas is No Place Like Home. Got the card on the back right there if you want to read it. Don't know if it's going to focus. Hopefully it does. But yeah, got the disc right there. Seeing it, okay. Seeing AJ Styles was seeing AJ Styles live at WrestleMania was just something I never thought. I never thought I was gonna be able to see him live, but let alone at WrestleMania in front of a hundred and one thousand people. That just blows my mind. He deserves it, man. So yeah. Next up, we got the program. Got it signed by two people. First up, we got the Perfect Ten. Ty Dillinger, right there. Signed to Ty Dillinger Ten. Really cool guy talking about how his weekend was going. Talk, he talked to me about NXT. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, but yeah, I met him in Access. Next up, I was excited to get this sign. Didn't get to talk to him really at all. Just said thank you. You know, told him I appreciated him signing it for me. Just got signed by Cesaro. He was walking, he, he finished his signing, and they had closed off all the lines for Access, which I guess they do. Because I, I tried to meet. Uh, Vader to Tonka, and it was 11.40, and the session ended at noon, and there was literally nobody filling up the first, the first little rope section, and the dude wouldn't let me in, he's just like, yeah, no, we had to close it, I said, well, there's still 20 minutes left, he's like, I'm sorry, man, I don't know what to tell you, so, whatever, just got him to sign that on his way out of his signing, but yeah, I just completely skipped, like, half the stuff I was saying, but whatever. Uh, next up, oh, uh, n last thing I bought from WWE-wise, I bought this t-shirt from Ricochet, hashtag flawless right there, really nice t-shirt, and I also bought the jumped up Prey Will Ospreay t-shirt, the blue one with uh, the Red Bull spoof logo, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm wearing it in my on my Instagram, y'all can go look at that, but yeah, we got this absolutely massive poster. What size is this? I don't know, but massive. Got the WrestleMania 32 match card poster right there. 15 bucks. I think that's a really good price for this, to be honest. I want to get a WrestleMania 30 poster since I was there, but uh, those are expensive. I might have to get the alternate Superstore poster. 
whatever, cool, whatever. Just want to have it. That can be a thing. Any WrestleMania I go to, I'm going to get a poster for it. Yeah, really nice to have. If I can get this signed by, like, Reigns or somebody, even though I'm not a big fan, I'll get him to sign it. Just Maybe I'll try and get the winners to sign it. All the matches. That'll be hard, but it's the project. I like projects. Like, got a bunch of projects completed this, this uh, WrestleMania trip. Next, first off, we got this signed by uh, the Wild Samoans and King Haku. They were cool. They asked how my weekend was going. I asked how theirs was going. Really nice guys. Uh, but uh, one of them's happy since uh, Roman won. But yeah, unfortunately. I had so much fun doing Roman Reigns. Oh man. Let me get this. I uh, got it signed by Haku right there. That's King Haku. Uh, they were just handing the access papers out. Like, they were just signing, like, three in between people. Just handing them. So, whatever. Cool. Free autographs. Next up, we got the Wild Samoans. Get there. There you go. Right there. Got it right there. Alpha and Sika. Right there at the bottom. They were all cool. Nothing to complain about with them. Access was cool. Got to see Shinsuke Nakamura wrestle. That was really cool. Never thought I'd get to see him wrestle. But, yeah. Let's go to the 8x10s now. Got this signed by Neville. Still using silver and gold sharpies, even though I despise them, especially on 8x10s. They just rub off really easily. Whatever. Got it signed by Neville right there. One's a regular promo picture. Next up, got it signed right there in silver on that picture. But it looks really good, so hopefully it stays on. It won't if I touch it, but I'm not going to touch it. Oh, there's a one on the back, too. Got that signed by Kalisto right there at the bottom in blue. Really like that picture. Kalisto was cool. Talked to him about PWG. Uh, next up, got this signed by Sammy Callahan right there. Got Sammy in gold right there. Sammy was cool. Of course, everybody who's met Sammy Callahan knows his gimmick. Dip cup. Dip. Oh, well, can't hate the man for it in the words of our generic Lucha Door. But, uh, yeah, it was cool regardless. I didn't even really notice it. Next up, we got Zack Sabre Jr. Really cool. Two bows, Zack Sabre Jr. Really like his 8x10s. I probably should have gotten this one signed in silver. Whatever, I didn't think about it, though. It wasn't the main thing to get signed by him. Next up, we got Red Dragon right there, Bobby and Kyle. Got something else signed by Kyle. I just need one in an 8x10 for Bobby. Kyle signed it, too. I just spoiled another thing. That's it, getting saved for last of the 8x10s, though. Met Kota Ibushi. 30 bucks to meet Kota, but it's Kota Ibushi. You kind of have to. Got his promo picture signed right there. And then I handed this to him, put it down on the table for him to sign. This is a note. I actually met up with uh, the Click, Click 32, too sweet. Uh, met up with them at uh, WrestleCon Super Show, was in line with them. And I actually talked to Ravi at uh, Evolve, too. But you can, you can hear this story, the full story in his video. Go check out Assault and Battery 777. Got this time a Cody Bushi. Put it down on his table. I guess he just liked the match or liked the picture. And he goes, whoa. And didn't speak English, but I definitely understood that that was his way of saying that's a really cool picture. I got you, Coda. But yeah, last 8x10. Finally got to meet my favorite tag team in all of professional wrestling. The Young Bucks. Too sweet me. Uh, yeah, put on an amazing match with the Motor City Machine Guns. There was literally not a bad show that I went to this Mania weekend between Evolve, Ring of Honor, WrestleCon. WrestleMania was good too. A lot of people didn't like WrestleMania, but I liked it. I personally, it was really good. I don't have any complaints except for Charlotte retaining and Roman Reigns winning and not turning heel. Hopefully they slowly turn him heel. His feud with AJ Styles is the perfect way to set up, to set up that shield reunion they've been wanting you to do. And also introduce the Bullet Club, Balor Club, whatever they're going to call them. Hopefully that happens. That would be sick. But yeah, I got that signed. Next, let's, let's go to uh, DVDs. Got this for five bucks. Got the DVD. Got it signed for free by uh, Jay and Mark. And then got it signed by Roger Strong. Uh, I had Black Cole sign in my hotel room for Roger Strong to sign. I just didn't think I was going to get to meet him. Really kicking myself in the ass for that one, but whatever, it happens. Uh, a lot of unexpected stuff happens at uh, at uh, WrestleMania. Like I was, the Ring of Honor and WrestleCon shows were in the same hotel as the WrestleCon town was in. We're in, we're in. Yeah, sorry. Uh, just got to meet a bunch of the WrestleCon talent. Met Robo and Animal, Teddy Hart, Jack Evans. Like I went out to go get a drink, and I saw people taking pictures, and then I saw a cat's tail, and I said, 
No fucking way. And, of course, Teddy Hart's there with his girlfriend. Teddy Hart's got his cat, his girlfriend's got her cat. Animal cat, not the other kind of cat. Other cat kind of cats are cool, too. But, uh, yeah. Just got a picture with him, too. He was cool, met Animal from the Road Warriors, met Colt Cabana, at Calle Conley. Everything, everybody was cool. Andrew Everett and Trevor Lee signed Mystery Vortex 2. Just need Cedric to get that three-way done. Hopefully I can meet him soon. Don't really know where I will, though. But, yeah. Next up, All-Star Weekend 9 right there. Signed by Sammy Callahan and Gold. Gold Sharpies do well on PWG cases. But the trick with PWG cases is... Are, is I don't know. I can't talk right now. I'm in a really big hurry. Uh, erase where you want it signed. The pencil erase. Erase the area. I just erase the whole cover because you don't really, you can tell them where to sign, but they'll still go wherever. But I got really lucky this trip. I had a horse, I had a horseshoe up my ass this entire weekend. But yeah, got this signed by Sam McAllahan. Wrestling's best on sign talents volume two right there, signing gold. Already had it signed by Ricochet. Just need Rich Swan now. Yeah, uh, DDC four 2014, 2015 actually. Got that signed by Trevor Lee, and also got it signed by Ethan Page. Both cool guys. Uh, at the WrestleCon Super Show, though, I think WrestleCon was making them charge because some of the guys I had met in the morning and they didn't charge. But at WrestleCon, they were. Like, I paid 15 bucks for an autograph and a picture from Trevor Lee. WrestleMania, that's all I can say. He was cool, though. It was worth it. Uh, I came home with $106, which is $106 more than I thought I was going to come home with. So, yeah, going to put that. That's already going towards WrestleMania 33. But yeah, that's the exposition volume two right here. Samoa Joe, Sanjay, Dutt, uh, Daniels, Kazarian, Saban, Shelley, uh, Just Need Styles, and PD Williams now. Styles I could be able to get next year if he's not a VIP, which he probably will be. Even if he is, maybe I'll dish out the 150, 175. Maybe. But yeah, got this signed by Adam Cole. Mystery Vortex 1 right there. Adam Cole, really nice guy as always. Class act. Yeah. Next up, Bowl of 2014, signed by the winner, Ricochet. Uh, yeah, everybody was really cool. Got this signed in gold. It looked really nice. Uh, Ricochet was cool. Got, he let me hold the title in a picture with him, too. Really nice. Love that title. Next up, the first of two things signed by the Young Bucks. Y'all are going to love the second thing. Mystery Vortex 2. Mystery Vortex 3. Got signed by Matt and Nick right there. I just said, hey, guys, I know y'all are only supposed to sign one thing, but I don't think I'm going to have a chance to meet y'all ever again. So can y'all just sign two things for me, please? And they said, yeah, man, no problem. And Nick goes, you want an 8x10, too? And I was like, sure, man. Cool, 8x10s. Uh, so, yeah, they're cool. Really nice guys. If you had the chance to meet them, meet them. Uh, this is a really cool one. Sold our soul for rock and roll. Sold our soul for rock and roll. Where Kyle won the title. Got us on my Kyle right there. Got assigned by Adam Cole right there. So, yeah, that cover is complete. Both are really cool. These are some of my prized possessions in my collection now. PWG Battle of Los Angeles 2015 Night 1. Signed by Tommy. And you can't really see it. Looked better in person, kind of. Need to sign Mike Bailey, too. But, yeah, I'm dropping everything. Uh, oh, I forgot that, too. Mike Bailey had to cancel due to visa issues. But it got assigned by Marty Squirrel. Squirrel. Once again, I can't talk. Uh, I signed Marty Squirrel right there. Put Marty Squirrel. Marty Squirrel with a little umbrella right there. He was cool too. Met him twice. Once Friday night, once Saturday. But yeah, next thing. Night two of Bola. Signed by Zack Sabre Jr. And the man himself, Mr. Cerro Miedo. Uh, Pentagon Jr. Signed at Pentagon Jr. And put a big zero and a big M in the middle of it. He was really cool. Uh, didn't speak much English, but just... Like, looking face-to-face -face with Pentagon Jr. is the coolest but most intimidating thing I've ever done in my life. He was cool. Uh, really nice guy, from what I said to him. Uh, next up, Chris Hero and Will Ospreay on night three. So all I need to complete Bulba is Mike Bailey. So, yeah. That's really cool. Uh, hopefully, I can complete it one day. I might try and find a way to maybe ship it to him and get him to sign it if he has a P.O. box or something. Never know. Uh, I feel like he would do it, though. I just, if I send him, send it to him and pay for shipping on for me on the way back to me. But, yeah. 
this was the goal of the weekend to get this completed. Arguably the most famous match in PWG history. Tag Team Championship, Guerrilla Warfare, Young Bucks against World's Gears Tag Team, Candice and Joey. From that, y'all can tell what I mean. PWG 11, signed by the Young Bucks and Candice LeRae and Joey Ryan. I never thought that I would be able to get this signed, but for some reason when I got this show, I made it my goal to get this signed by all four of them, and I was able to. Um... Like I said, I had a horseshoe up the ass the entire weekend, dude. I don't, I'm so grateful for this trip. It was literally the best weekend of my life. Hopefully 33 will top it, though. We'll see. But, yeah. Right there. The granddaddy of all PWG main events. And the DVD is signed. So, yeah. Uh, Super Kick Party Year. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. At Super Kick Party Year. Uh, follow me on Instagram for all updates. Subscribe, like, comment. Uh, let me know if you were planning on going to 33. Maybe we can meet up, get a little group going. Maybe even work out a deal for the travel package. Kind of trying to make it cheaper, but we'll see. But yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Instagram, Twitter, at Podger. Have a nice day, guys.